Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Analysts say consumers are now paying record high ATM charges. But there are ways to get cash and avoid those penalties. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Well, banks say a majority of customers are now avoiding ATM fees because of internet tools and mobile apps. John Epps drives all over the place in his food truck, but he couldn't go to just anywhere to get cash. Epps was paying three or four dollars to use another bank's ATM, and the fees didn't stop there. My bank would tack on, you know, a dollar to two dollars, depending on, you know, which, which bank I would use. A new survey says customers like Epps are paying five percent more this year to use other banks' ATMs. Fees have risen 23 percent over the last five years. The average cost, four dollars and 35 cents per transaction, an all-time high. It's low-hanging fruit in terms of generating additional fee income. Banks aren't worried about alienating non-customers. The practice of spending cash to get cash isn't going away, but you don't have to get stuck paying the fees if you plan ahead. One good way is to use your bank's website or mobile app to locate a nearby ATM. Some banks will even reimburse you for any fees charged outside of the network. If you're really in a pinch for cash, you can always get cash back at the point of sale when using your debit card. That's tantamount to a free withdrawal. Epps says he now only uses banks with branches around the city so he can stop paying ATM fees and put every penny back into his business. Now, Phoenix has the highest average ATM fees at $4.96 and Cincinnati has the lowest of the city surveyed at $3.75. And if you have a consumer problem you need investigated, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.